So I'm clearing out the uh, bark chips off the raised beds. And that's uh, Musa Lassio Carpa. See, we've got some growth here. Um, but basically, I'm going to can his Colocasia Pink China up to divide some of these up, pot them up because uh, I want to transfer some of that into the beds around the patio area and a lot of the plants are repeated through the tree beds so you can see under the covers still bone dry and I'm going to see what's how things are under this bed right so we can see in less than 24 hours the sea commences here and the up. that new girl just pushed it up in less than 24 hours so this is uh they're definitely growing pushing out new growth so we can see that the the bark chips were bone dry in all the tree beds but there's still a lot of moisture even though those covers were over the these beds um, in the autumn and winter um, so basically what I'm just going to let the air in dry all this this out like what I'm doing with the the pots and the uh, the barrels and let the wind in to dry around the, the plants. This is a Musalasio carpa. It's touch and go, probably 50 50. This is the one that got chewed by Max and did make a recovery, but it might not have been as strong as the one over here. So if I lose this, hopefully I'll get some pups off this one. Um, but the cannas are starting to come out. This grass is coming along. Um, so, yeah, with Jack's Giant over here. Jack's Giant do really well actually in containers that are uh, covered up for the winter. So, I have excess fleece anyway. That's what I'll do is I'll put the covers back on and then. At night I can put the fleece in over on top of them. Right, so this is going to allow the light back in on the plants and heat build up on the bed and keep the rain off. And then just keeping an eye on the forecast I can just put the fleece back in every night when it's needed.